It's amazing what happens in Abaco while they're looking pretty and smiling. I remember the trial of the Nazis in The Hague. The generals, while they're being tried by the international court, they said that Hitler said it was okay to kill the Jews. Hitler was the man in charge at the time and they were following orders. This is the same thing that's going on right now with the contracts that are being given out. This example of what's going on with Adrian Gibson. And you gotta know if rights are wrong. I had a beautiful young lady in my car, brilliant, beautiful, black, bohemian that along with other 35 students that said they'll never come back to the Bahamas again because we are a failed state. I just jokingly said to her, I said, this airport costs 40 million. She's a technical person, she's very sharp. She said, you know what $40 million is? $40 million could build a country in some countries, could build a city. Say, this building don't worth more than 20 million. And she just glanced at it. That's what our studies tell her. I knew it long time ago, but you can't tell the people in Kopistan that it don't cost 40 million. Because you would say it costs 40 million, it costs 40 million. It don't. Nothing works. But if you get a dock, like them contract, contractual bandits, if you got a dock in Mose Island to Bill, and it's airmark, and you put 10 million there, and somebody come and do their feasibility study on the building, the technical people, and say that this building, this dock in Moors Island, only costs two million. Well, you all gotta find the other eight million because some government, and you're gonna say, it, well, I got the, the, the contract from the government. The government was at fault. So you are part of the corruption. You're part of the thiefing. If you come, after Hurricane Doreen and Nicole, and the dump deal was two million, all of a sudden the Progressive Liberal Party becomes the government. You got all the dump and it's costing 10 million plus. You're teething. And if you go to the courts and you have some technical people besides Bahamians, or you can have those Bahamians that have studied abroad and they know about the corruption, and they come back and do their feasibility studies, and they said, it's overpriced by eight million. I don't care which government give you the contract, you know you're thiefing. You're thiefing for somebody within the government. You lock up. That is the type of government I want embraced. God, I wish I had a government like United States. If we had a government like United States, Hubert Ingram would be in jail for treasonous, for selling the technology of the country. Every sensible thinking prime minister holds on to the technology, especially after you heard that the United States has listened to every call, you tried to protect the integrity of your government. These guys are not wise. The American has listened to every call every member of parliament make in this country, including the Minister of National Security. They are listening to this call three times a day. They listen at the Prime Minister's call. So of course, the Jamaicans is listening to the our calls. 
we are so bad in what Hubert Ingram has done that the Jamaicans, by just a click of the switch, could cut us off from the outside world. Take us over. And we don't have any communication. Not so bad we are in this country called the Commonwealth of the Bahamas by the deal, the treasonous deal that Yuba did by selling the only thing that we had in this country to make money. But Telco, he give it away. And everybody is pleased to that. Then we have the dock in Kupustan. You ask anybody in North Abaco, in my age group, what can you be proud of 50 years and what you could be proud of 30 years of Hubert Ingram being the representative of North Abaco. What can you be proud of Hubert accomplishing for Abaco and for North Abaco in particular? Name one project that he left that you can make money from. They said the dock. 40 million, another overpriced entity. Go down there at the Cooperstown dock and see if it's worth 40 million. Hubert has not produced one single millionaire. But he's made sure that all the white boys becomes multi-millionaires under his 10-year regime. But not one black man. Uh, maybe Ed Curlin. He had all the sand deals, so he should be a millionaire. But he's act like he broke. But anytime you got the whole deal that everybody got to go through in this country, you're officially a millionaire. But we had you, but... <laughs> then we had Renato Curry. He was trying to fool God. I say Renato Curry. Renato Curry is one of the most... Um, endangered species in Murphy Town. Nobody even knows he's there. He's sneaking and sneak out because he had that power. He was the assistant pastor, Bethany Gospel in Murphy Town. I told the pastor, say that little brute called Renato Curry. He's trying to get a nomination for the PLP. Bishop Johnny Williams say we don't do that in our church. <laughs> when I look Bishop Williams right there supporting corruption that's why Renato can't stick his head out and then they go and get Greg Gomez <laughs> Greg get deported from America down there in Exoma shame to come home direct you with them saw me there you know what you with told Kai You'll make an excellent member of parliament. See, when you would speak, everybody in North Africa pay attention more than when God speak. But I don't pay attention when you would speak because you would ain't no God. But he told me that you'll never be a member of parliament because you're too honest. And you're not going to play the game. The game of politics is only a game. I say, you're right. They can't play games with the older and the younger people's future and their life. But it's a game to you, but it's obvious it was a game after Hurricane Dorian, him and that white hair Perry, sometime he hair red like a, a fox. They ride around in Green Tilky and elsewhere on the golf cart and laugh at us, took a photo up, and say, Y'all figured out, went back to Nassau. Then after Hubert, Renato Corey, Greg, there came Darren Henfield. Such a brilliant specimen. He was a preacher. He's a lawyer. But he had no people sense. Darren Henfield is one of those people from high school. Always acting bigoty. Always act like he's a military that everybody's supposed to salute him. I told you that you'll see more of the back of Darren than the front. And so said, so done. The only house built in Abaco by any government was the house for Darren Henfield and Great Sistin. Now I see him sneaking at the airport. 
He ain't got no car park with police opening the door. He's a regular um, citizen now with a little $3,000 car that he sneaks to the airport to pick up his family to sneak down to great system. They sneak in now, but Kai still here. Denley Maki Penn, she's sneaking out of there, give you some pig feet, some corned beef and grits after two year absent. But she, she reached out to me and said, Kai, I love you. Thanks for the what's up. Say any need that Abaco need, Denley Penn got the money, I got it. You all call Denley Penn and tell her you need building material. You don't need no sausage, corned beef, pork chop, chicken, pig feet. You need building material because you're still at foundation. Call Denley Penn. She's the Abaco girl. Boy, I just give you a lot of history right there. And all them gone and nobody is speaking on the needs of Abaconians. Kai in his own way is speaking and they still don't care. Kai, kiss. Wow.